Yo, if you guys know that when I do these uh, Reddit streams and I go through and give tips on the Reddit, I go through everybody. So if you guys wanna see the full VOD where I go through everybody on the subreddit, everybody who I have not upvoted yet, we're gonna upvote today. I'm gonna give them tips. Watch the full VOD, twitch.tv slash mastering tricking. Please come through, give it some support. It means the world to me. Almost have dub. How do I start the twist earlier? Oh, okay. So I don't think your issue is starting the twist earlier because you're starting the twist really early, right off the gate. The issue is you're doing a compartmentalized twist. You're tucking your first twist, then you're kicking out to try and rotate for the second one. And that's why you're kind of landing under rotated by like a quarter degree, if not by a half. So what I would really recommend is to, instead of focusing on getting that super crazy run up into your dub, focus on some control focus on some power, those things will go a long way in progressing the dub and making you feel more comfortable when doing the dub. Any tips for my cart dub? I feel like I have enough twist. I feel like I have twisted enough, but not rotate enough. How do I get rotation? Okay, so let me see the clip. I understand now, I understand. So when he means rotation, he means flip. How much he's flipping over because he's under rotating the flip aspect of the trick. When he does his cart double full, he's completing the double rotation, but as you can see, his body is still horizontal to the ground, and this is no way to land. So there are a few things you can do to compensate for your flip, and the first one, and of course the easiest, is to add more power, and to get a smoother, stronger setup. That said, it looked like your block and your cartwheel was phenomenal. I don't see any issues there. Your twist is a little bit straight. You could tuck a little bit more in with your legs and knees. Now don't go super far and try and tuck your body up. You'll flip too much. But a tucked twist will give you more flip if you're still struggling with the power. But it looks like you have good uh, power. Maybe instead of blocking straight up, travel a little bit. It seems like this mat is kind of a weird situation, but your technique is really, really good. My big tip would be to try and get more power in your cartwheel in the beginning. It looks like you have a good blocking. Try and throw your uh, obliques and your upper body a little bit more to the side as you set for the dub. That will make it a little bit better. And tuck the twist just a little bit. Your legs are also kind of wrapping up. Try and fit them into a comfortable position. Like when I'm twisting, I will often wrap my left leg, Jesus, I will often wrap my left leg over my right like this and then straighten them out, but it's never fully straight. It's like a semi-tucked straight. The amount I tuck my legs will give me more flip and what you said was rotation, but it will cause you to twist a little bit slower. But twist is not your issue. Your twist looks really good. We just gotta get you flipped over a bit more. Landed my first triple today. Any advice to get them cleaner or just spam them more? Okay, let me see. So this is your first triple. Okay, so the only thing that I can kind of give you advice on that I see, because this is a really good triple, it's hard for me to tell your blocking situation because of how you've laid out the camera. If it's a little bit taller, it's easier for me to see the travel and the distance the athlete makes. But I notice you're piking in your last little bit of twist. Like right there. Do you see how your legs go from that super straight twisting position to this almost piked position? This compensates for flip to get your body under you at the end of a twisting skill. Like he's super straight to get the triple because that will maximize on his twist, but near the end of the skill to get his feet beneath him, he's piking down and tucking his body. If you can get a little bit more flip to not have to pike down as much, your triple full will feel way better on your body and it will be more consistent for the future. But this was a really good triple and if this was your first triple, I think you're traveling a lot, but like I said, it's hard for me to tell. This is a really good triple. This is a really good triple. You're just piking down quite a lot, and it's not a bad thing. Drills. Yo, the fact that you guys are just posting your drills and saying I'm training with everybody, that is so important. The whole thing with the Reddit and with Mastering Tricking is community. So build the community. Show the people around you that you're training, that you're trying to get better, 
Don't be rude about it. Like this is exactly what you should be doing. Post your drills, post your progress. These are things you should be proud of and you should like feel good about. And this community is a place where you can feel really good about that. So please come here with that. We love it. Does this count as cork snafu? Yeah. Yeah, I count that as cork snafu. So like, here's what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna rate your variation from a one to 10, given the, like how big the kick is coming out. Cause like when you see a Michael Guthrie snafu swipe, that kick is coming out at a 10. But I can definitely see that your kick is coming out. I see the extension, but I don't see a giant kick. So I'd say this cork snafu is like a four out of 10. So this is like your average cork snafu getting a little bit better. This counts as a cork snafu, but get the kick a little bit bigger. Ooh, we got a cork dub. We got a cork dub. Yo, that was a crazy one, two. He said it was a one, two, and I was expecting a cork dub, but instead it's a cart full D leg punch double full. That is a crazy one, two. I love seeing like a unique one too. Not just like a boring one, but like some cool shit. Like one of my favorite combos I've ever done was touchdown rise rodeo cork, swing rodeo cork gyro. Just cause it's such a cool like one two. Tips for my touchdown rise. Okay, let's see his touchdown rise. That was a good touchdown rise. That was a very good touchdown rise. So my big tip would be to get more confident placing weight on your arm. If you can do a handstand, do more handstands. Train the handstand more. Like you should try and get to that hand a little bit faster, but this body position is almost perfect. Maybe a little bit more inversion, kick that back leg up just a little bit more. It helps kind of swing your arms more vertically in the beginning as well. But once you get to that arm, it needs to be ready to support you. So get that handstand gains, get like some time on your hands, like a bunch of cartwheels, while it might seem silly, doing one arm cartwheels will do a lot for your touchdown rise because it will simply progress the strength you need to support your weight on that one arm. Because that's what you need is the strength to support your weight on that one arm. Ooh, we got some helicoptero action. Ooh, beautiful helicoptero. The thing about the helicoptero that I struggle with is doing it slowly. Like the pacing of this trick is really good. The pace of a lot of my tricks and tricking is just naturally very fast, but for a helicoptero, you need to be very slow. Malik has a really good helicoptero, Malik Shepard. God, that was so strong.